is just a bed, basically. <laughs> this is a pretty cool sprinter right here. Awesome, I like the layout. Pretty long. <laughs> Thank you. This is a nice layout on this sprinter. Kind of colorful though with the fabric. I know she's weird looking. <laughs> Mum was like, what is that on your head? That is that is so cool. We have printed one for a girl in Ontario who's blind. And oh, really? It did a solid thing and put red LEDs so it looks like a silo. And oh, walk town that is so it. cool. They're not quite available yet, but... Uh, oh, okay. But you can do pink or we've done some with... Uh, really? With some of the, the Dale Earnhardt's, you know. I like this setup right here with the Land Rover and the tent that's on top and the folds out. This is really cool. So here's a Toyota with the same roof tent. So this is the peanut trailer by Nuthouse Industries. Solar panel, kitchen. So here is the outdoor kitchen and the refrigerator. Seems to be built from aluminum. There's another shot of the tent right there with an awning. Hey, Moo Moo. So here's a shot of the other side. I'm going to take a peek inside. Yes. Definitely seems roomy. Uh, and it has a memory foam inside that seems comfortable. Wow, look at this beast right here. Thing is huge. And it's for sale. Only $350,000 or best offer. Here's a shot of the inside right here. Nice setup. Here's a table on this side. Here's a control panel here. Nice stove and sink. It also has a fold up table here. I love that bathroom. Wow, that's a small teardrop. So this is the Kodiak and it has a pop top on it. Here's the control panel here. And here is a shot of the inside. Wow. I love this. The roof. There's the ladder. And there is a bed up here. I love that refrigerator. Also has a microwave, some cabinets as well. <laughs> That's so neat. <laughs> so here's a solar stove, has some pots in there. And here's one with cookies in it. <laughs> it's a pretty neat gadget to have. There's the website if you want any information on it. Do you know how much these are? Sure. This is, um, oh, I've got some condensation building. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Um, the complete set with the oven, uh -huh. the reflector, and the two pots. Right. And all the cooking accessories. The retail price is two eighty-seven. dollars Okay. With the show special that's running right now, we're taking $30 off. Okay. And including a... So two fifty seven. Two fifty seven, And then you get the uh, free carrying case. Oh, cool. Awesome. Thank you. So they're having a drawing, and I just put my name in here. Hopefully I win. <laughs> so this truck right here has a pop top truck bed. That is really cool. So this is it in the upper position. That is just a great concept. So here's the rear view. We have a bed here. There's a little bit of side on uh, next to the bed. So, and I think there's storage underneath. But that is so cool. Oh, it even has a TV up there. Oh, is there something in the back there? That's a fridge freezer. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Oh, Snowmaster. I like this Land Cruiser. Profits Resurrection Land Cruiser. So they have these new flexible solar panels. These are completely flexible. They have it on the side of this truck. Also one here on the ground. It's really cool, the color on these panels. So here's another rooftop tent. This one is hitched to a car and it actually has a air conditioner. Which I'm sure they're running with that generator right there. 
So here's another rooftop tent, and this one is actually built on a trailer. I really like that. So here's a shot of the inside. Looks comfy. It has pull-out shelves here, one with an Arctic fridge freezer, and I guess the other one is just for storage if you need it. This is a great front-mounted hammock. Wow, they have so many vendors here. This is a cool product right here. It's a porta potty. <laughs> you need to use the facility. It's like a wet bath because it does have a shower installed as well. This is a cool overland vehicle with a trailer. So here's a trailer open. Storage. Just have a tent on top with a bed. There's a lot of these tent <laughs> trailers. <laughs> there are. I got into this, it wasn't that big of a market, and now, I mean, it was a big market, but there weren't as many options, and now this year, there's tons of I know, it's like a, I see them everywhere. <laughs> wow, here's another big overland vehicle. That thing is huge, and look, it has a tent on top. <laughs> I really like this setup right here with the rooftop tent. <laughs> no, it's all good. Yeah. No, good girl. You want to drink some water? Yeah. So now we're <laughs> in the process of later this year, hopefully, get this. Fire. For the first time ever, you can cover a live fire. So at the end of an evening, instead of dumping a bunch of water and getting all that ash and steam and everything blowing up in the air, right. and then the next morning you have a uh, big, wet, muddy fire pit. You, will, you can cover it and without using water and you can trap the heat all night long. You can set the vent down the low uh -huh. and you can keep your uh, fire, your embers burning all night long. So you wake up in the morning, you can have eight, nine hundred degrees of embers for a forty uh, for the in the morning when it's the coldest. Right. So or if you want, you can open it all the way up and you can burn out your fire within uh, three hours because remember we're trapping in 1500 degrees of heat and this is made from woven glass oh. so what a, crazy is is that because we're reflecting the heat and this material doesn't transfer the heat uh -huh. even if there's 1500 degrees inside here the hottest this would ever get is 500 degrees. Wow. So it doesn't allow the heat to transfer out. And then the outside edges never get hot, even though the fire is inside there as well. So it's safe. You can walk around. The pets can walk on it, and they won't get injured at all. So it comes in a whole kit like this. There's the waterproof instructions that are right here. The kit's all folded up here. We give you gloves. There's eight glow-in-the-dark tent stakes inside here. Okay. We give you a flashlight, and you get the fire stake all in one nice, easy to carry kit. That is a great. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. And how much is this product? They retail right now for $249. And what is your website? It's uh, campfiredefender.com. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> so this rig is freaking awesome. I love that. Okay. Kind of reminds me of an old ambulance a little bit, but I think it was more of, I'm not sure. <laughs> it has the pop top up there, some kayaks. There's a Jenga game. <laughs>
Now that is a great vintage van, and I love how they added the pop top, and they have a tent as well, the porty potty tent. Some more sportsmobiles. I like that RV right there. And more sportsmobiles. I was wondering why there are so many sportsmobiles over here, because this is the sportsmobile section. <laughs> Wow, nice setup in this sportsmobile. I like the setup in this one much better. It is definitely more open. And there is the pop top with the bed up there. Wow, this sportsmobile is tall, plus it has a pop top. <laughs> that is just different, but I bet it's definitely spacious. So here are the trailers with tents on top. There's more over here. There's a cool one right there. Here's a front shot with the kitchen and there's a solar panel right there on the awning. I really like the colors and the setup of this one. And it's definitely roomy as far as the bed goes. I'm really loving these military style tents right here. That's a cool old vehicle. All right, so you're looking at our prototype right now. We're about six months out for uh, production of uh, the Lean Two, and what it is, basic concept, it's a uh, uh, super lightweight camper. It's uh, under 100 pounds for the entire unit. Building it just like a race car battery. It's gonna like a race car body. It's, it's all carbon fiber and fiberglass, and uh, it opens and closes real quick. It just flips forward, flips back, and uh, it takes you about 10 seconds to have it fully set up. Wow. Sleeping area on the top that folds out of the way during the day. Uh, almost seven feet of head clearance in the, uh, the back portion, just basically the footprint of the truck bed. And, uh, super easy to deal with, uh, nice and streamlined, nice and lightweight. Cool. And that's your brand name right there? Brand name we're lead to, yeah. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Those are some neat drawers right there that go under your bed. And they do lock because they deal in lock boxes. This is the company, it's called Tough Security Products. And there's their website. They have more products there as well. It's pretty efficient. You can have the feeling. It's lovely and hot. How much is it? Um, we've got two models. One that may give you a hot shower. Uh -huh. And another one where you remove the heat exchanger part and then for the cancer. Oh. How much is it? Uh, and I'm on the 585, and the one that becomes a little cooker as well is 655. Oh, cool. So you can use it as a camp style. There you go, that's your heat exchanger. Okay. Just hooks on there, screws on there, uh -huh. and then it turns into a little camp style. Wow. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wow, I really like these truck campers right here with the pop tops. Nice carpet. <laughs> it's small and compact, but hey, it does the trick. It has a swing table and two uh, small bench chairs. There is a sink and the range. The refrigerator is on this side with some counter space. I really like the inside layout. There's a vent fan above the bed. Yeah, I'm really liking that. So here's another layout. I'll give you a quick view of this. So talk about a luxury tent. <laughs> this tent is freaking awesome. <laughs> nice place to hang out. Let me give you an outside shot. So yeah. I like the tent. Look at this big toy hauler right there. So these are the shelter pod tents and they have a very unique design. Kind of reminds me of an alien spaceship. <laughs> Especially these silver ones. This one is the shift pod 2.0. I believe the silver is meant to reflect the heat. They are pretty spacious inside. Nice bed in there. And they're also pretty tall, so you can stand up. Alright, well that was definitely a cool Overland Expo. I hope you all enjoyed. See you later.